What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mike Lemon coming back with another update on my 75 gallon reef tank. So it's been a little over a month since I got water in this tank and started actually cycling it. So what I did is I went and as you see, I grabbed my fish from the 28, most of them anyway. So you got the couple clowns, one up there, one up top. Uh, you got the yellow watchman and there is a the little yellow blue chromis right there. I got those guys in there. I couldn't get out the little uh, basslet or whatever the little guy I got in there. Um, couldn't get him out. So he is still in the 28. So when I break that th thing down fully, uh, I will get him out. He ended up lodging himself in the rocks. I couldn't figure out which rock, couldn't find him. So uh, I put everything back in and he is back in there again. Um, I ended up picking up a couple things. I don't know if I did a video on it, but I ended up dropping in a cleaner shrimp down there and a uh, six line wrasse. So the six line wrasse I picked up from a store in, in Rhode Island, uh, Ocean State Aquatics, shout out to Scott. Um, he wasn't there, but good store. First time there. It took me a little bit, almost an hour to get there, and I will definitely be going back. I, I plan to go back to a store tour because it's a it's a really nice store. So we'll get that going in the future. I popped and dropped him, and reason for that is they run cop on their systems. So I basically looked at all their tanks. I couldn't find anything wrong with any of the fish. This guy had been in there for about a week running copper and he just looked healthy. So I didn't bother. Probably you know shame on me, whatever. Uh, but I've had success in the past. I have not had success in the past with just uh, dropping them in. Um, so fingers are crossed. Obviously, I would say if you are patient enough to actually do a quarantine, but I didn't for this time. So maybe I'm thinking about if I when, I, when I'm ready for a tang or two, I will quarantine those guys. But as far as the six line, I didn't bother. Tank is doing all right. I don't know what my salinity is right now. Um, and the reason I say that, I've had this thing for like three years, so maybe I need a new one. I don't know. Uh, it was one of those Amazon guys. Uh, it was super cheap, and when I bought it, it seemed to work fine. Um, recently, I will do the, right there, do the um, calibration solution, and then as soon as I calibrate it, I test the water, and clean it off, and then I calibrate it again, it's off again. So I don't really know what my salinity is. Um, I ended up ordering the Hanna Salinity Pen uh, from BRS, should be here soon. Um, actually, I believe it'll be here on Friday, so that's pretty cool. I will get that and then I can adjust my salinity to be 1.026. So I'm looking forward to getting that. Um, fish are excited, I'm feeding them here in a minute. I got some uh, frozen defrosting. Uh, I did a couple things over here, still not the cleanest, but I hung that stuff up on the wall, um, just like the pumps and the heaters. Um, return pump down there on the bottom, controller. Um, I tried wiring these together to kind of make them look nice. It's still slightly a mess down there, but it's definitely cleaner. If I need to pull something out, I just take off the little Velcro strips and I should be able to get to everything uh, that I need to. The sump area, um, I got some Cheeto the other day. So I got that going in there. Um, I got this little, as you guys know, a little waterproof uh, Cobb LED. That thing's cranking, skimmer's doing all right. It's uh, running dry, that's kind of how I like it. Kimura, well, let me back up. So the so the calcium reactor, it took me a while to figure it out. Um, and I had it figured out. And when I, I actually had Phil help me over a live stream. Uh, we set this thing up and once I had it up and running, the pump was really loud. So I let it run for like, okay, like two or three days thinking that maybe it would quiet down, maybe there's air in the chambers or something. Um, it actually sounded like a hang on the back filter before a hang on the back filter actually catches, you know, I'm sure you guys know how the, what that sounds like, uh, but it never caught or quieted down. So uh, I figured, I talked to a couple of people that said, take it apart, see if there's anything in, the, in there with the impeller, kind of messing stuff up. Uh, so doing that, I actually cracked, uh, you can't see it, but the little inlet for to actually attach it to the reactor uh, cracked. So now I have a calcium reactor that I can't use. So I'm talking to BRS, they're gonna help me out uh, and we're gonna figure something out with that. So for now I got the Kimura running, uh, but it's actually just dripping water in here. And that's just giving me a little bit of surface agitation in that chamber because I was getting that slimy stuff. I'm sure you guys have, have experienced that a time or two. Looks like snot uh, and it just like floats in that chamber when there's no water movement. 
So I will be putting in one of my small Sun Sun powerheads in that chamber and uh, I will put it on a timer and run it for, I don't know, a couple times a day for you know 20 minutes or something. Uh, I put one of the pieces of live rock in and down in there just to give me a little more added bacteria since I added all the you know the fish. So I, I one of the rocks is one of the rocks that didn't have any like some of the mushrooms that I have I don't want in this tank. There is some green zoas in the other tank. This didn't have any of those either. Um, so that seemed to be a clean rock that has been in salt water for a couple years. So I put that in there. Uh, I put a, a pinky pad in there as well. And that is about it down here. Uh, we are up and running and temperature is good. What I ended up doing when I had this running, I had the temperature probe drooped in the back so it would show me a, a good temperature. But when I finally took the temperature probe out and put it back in here, this was running the normal temperature but my display was off. So I don't know if I should droop my temperature probe back in the display. Uh, but what I did is I cranked up the, the controller on the Apex to run the sump water a little hotter so then the display tank will be where I need it to be. I think it's staying stable at like 78 or something, 77.5, something like that. Uh, so everything's doing good. I need to figure out a better stand uh, for the Kimura once I get this up and running. I should have that pump soon. We're going to order it here in the next day or so. Um, Kimura, I need to figure out a better stand because this is just like a... Uh, like when you're building a kitchen and you're getting samples of uh, granite, that's just one of those just sitting on the side. So I need to figure out a better spot for that. Um, over here, I got this thing up and running, kind of. Uh, up and running meaning I got that ATO bucket down in there. Uh, it's ran up and around and into the rest of it. Next step is I got to get these primes on there. Uh, so what I'm thinking about doing is to get everything out of that little tank over there. I was thinking about throwing the T5s up here for a little while just so I can get some light in it. Um, I ended up buying some wood to build a new canopy because I don't like this thing. It's just got this top with no bracket. It's just, you can pull that thing out. Um, I want to build something that I can flip this up and have the AI primes hanging inside um, and not have to take the canopy off to get in here to do anything. So I still have a lot of work to do. Uh, once I get that canopy built, I will still have to figure out how to mount the AIs still have to buy one more AI and then followed by plug them in and trying to figure out uh, a light cycle that I like and that works obviously. Um, so I know there's a bunch of downloadable um, schedules so we'll have to dive into that. Um, another thing I picked up was just uh, some more red-legged hermits. I think there's like eight or ten of them in there now. Um, I'm kind of feeding heavy just to make sure everybody's eating properly. Um, but yeah, that's what I got going on. So still a lot to do. Uh, but I'm enjoying it already. You know, it's nice to get some fish in here, get some crabs in here, get the shrimp, and I actually have some stuff to watch. Uh, I still need to set this up, uh, the my little display. Um, I need, if anybody, somebody said it in a live stream a while ago, uh, but if somebody could remind me which browser they use, that's full screen, because I couldn't figure it out on that. Uh, along with when I log into my Apex, it still asks for a token. Um, and I don't know how to generate another one for another device. So if you guys uh, have any idea about that, that would be awesome. Um, been live streaming a lot lately. Uh, it's pretty fun. I wish I had more people to join in. Uh, sometimes it gets a little stagnant, which is just me talking by myself, uh, interacting with the comments. But uh, if you guys are ever around, you see me live streaming, jump in, say what's up, show me your tank, and uh, we'll uh, have a good time. Um, set up a new Instagram uh, a couple, about a month or two ago, uh, Mike underscore Lemmings underscore Reef. So you can go check that out too. Um, and Instagram just is a little easier, more instant um, to, to interact with you guys. So other than that, I think we are headed for success, hopefully. Uh, haven't done a water change, so if you guys have any, uh, any suggestions about that, um, should I do one? You know, we're only like 33 or something days into this tank. Um, and I haven't done one yet. I got about 50 or 60 gallons of water downstairs that I could do water change. I got some Fritz salt left, so I could do one. So what do you guys think? Let me know. All right, too much talking. I'm blabbing about the tank, but I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. So I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate the su support. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen them. Uh, I ended up getting some stickers made. made um, so that's pretty cool if anybody wants one drop me in the comments uh, jump on my IG and throw me a address uh, I should have grabbed one before I made this 
Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to hit me up. Uh, all right, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Your boy Mike Lemmings out. Peace.